Hi, everyone. I'm Webb Wright, and I would like to welcome you once again to Lucas Group's Recruiter Intel Spotlight Series. I'm joined today by Robin Wexler. Thank you so much for joining us today, Robin. Thank you. My pleasure. So our discussion today, Robin, is going to be focused on lateral partner movement during the pandemic. And the first question that I would love for you to address um, is related to certain obstacles that law firms who are looking to attract lateral partners have been facing during the pandemic. Um, I'm hoping you can give us some specific examples of these new obstacles, as well as an example or two of how a client of yours has managed to successfully overcome those obstacles in the last year. Thanks, Webb. It's an interesting question. I would say that in today's COVID-19 pandemic environment, things are, are obviously quite different. There are partners that have stronger practices today in, in certain key areas of strategic need and client needs, such as white collar, bankruptcy, private equity, healthcare, and the other, and other similar type of practice areas. Mm -hmm. It's a competitive environment today as well. And those law firms that are bringing on laterals and are opportunistic today are also facing challenges. And largely that comes from competition. So I tell my clients to really look at the big picture. Look at the type of opportunity that they can bring a lateral, whether it's from economic standpoint, whether they've exceeded, needed or exceeded budgets, whether they have brought on strong, recognized laterals, whether chambers ranked or other recognitions, and generally the health of the firm and key practice areas. The other aspect that I find to be challenging is the nature of the environment and the lack of personal connection that we would ordinarily see with large meetings in a boardroom, perhaps a fancy dinner, the ability to fly to, to multiple offices and travel and engage in, in comprehensive discussions with a number of partners seated in the same boardroom. However, there are other ways to look at this. Now that travel has been restricted for many key partners, it also presents an opportunity for better meetings, for meeting with key individuals with knowledge and depth that can really expand on the practice and the ability to really develop a personal relationship. And this is something that I find extremely important and constantly convey to my own clients. For example, the opportunity for a key managing partner or practice head to meet with a lateral on a one-to-one -one basis, perhaps a social distancing in a large boardroom, or perhaps grabbing a cup of coffee, you know, during uh, scheduling that's less restrictive. The other thing uh, that I find um, very interesting is the relaxed environment, the ability to interview and to have a discussion in the privacy of your own home. Mm -hmm. And in a setting where you're not worried about confidentiality, whether someone sees you in a restaurant or someone sees you on the street. And this is an important thought for laterals as well to remember and keep in mind as a comfort level in exploring opportunities. All right, so Robin, we just covered some of the major challenges that the pandemic has created over the past several months to law firms who are looking to seek new lateral partners. Um, but what crosses my mind now, I'm wondering if it's all been bad news. Um, I'm hoping you can speak to some of the positive advantages and opportunities that are now available to law firms who are looking to expand and grow their teams during the pandemic. Not at all. I, I see this as an opportunistic time for those law firms that are aggressively interviewing and seeking laterals. Uh, there are um, many mixed views today of those law firms that are positioning lateral partner recruiting in a holding position right now. And there are others that are really taking advantage of the opportunity. And I speak with many of my clients about the opportunistic uh, 
approach of hiring laterals today, especially those firms that are in a, a very strong financial position, have attracted laterals uh, that are well recognized and have significant opportunities for growth to share. And it's an opportunity as well for law firms to speak with laterals that perhaps under normal circumstances they wouldn't have encountered. And uh, my clients are really taking advantage of this. And I think it's a terrific thing today. And Robin, as a, as a way of closing, I'm hoping you can speak to the new norms of this process from a candidate perspective as well. Um, so my question comes in a couple parts. I'm wondering what new pandemic related obstacles now stand in the way of lateral partner candidates who are seeking to get connected with prominent law firms during the pandemic. And as part of that, I'm also wondering if there are any distinct advantages that are now present to lateral partners who are looking to advance their legal careers during the pandemic. Thanks, Webb. I think I've touched upon a couple of thoughts, but I did want to emphasize one aspect that I think is really important for a lateral to think about today. And that's the current situation with their practice. If their practice is somewhat on a downturn for various reasons, whether the court's being closed or other issues with clients and the economy and, and other implications of the COVID-19 pandemic, timing may not be appropriate to make a move. And it may make sense to step back, reflect upon this, look at your practice with a honesty and, and, and detailed perspective. And perhaps a month or two down the road, it may be an opportune time when your practice picks up. The, the converse of this, however, is if your practice is particularly strong and in an area of key interest and key growth, as I mentioned, white collar, healthcare, and other key issues in particular um, that are impacted by this environment, it makes all the sense to start exploring opportunities because you're in a position to do so and a favorable position to do so uh, coming from this perspective. And I'm struck by this theme of timing being so crucial um, in a year when uncertainty is more or less the rule of the day across industries and in a lot of ways, especially in the legal industry. Um, can you say a bit about how partnering with a professional recruiter such as yourself can make it easier for clients and candidates in the legal industry to actually figure out if this is the right time to either grow their teams or expand their careers. In other words, what role would you say the, the recruiter plays in helping to facilitate that process? Sure, well, what I work with potential lateral candidates, I, I try to take a teamwork type approach. Mm -hmm. I like to discuss an opportunity, present the opportunity and formulate a uh, clear thinking process mm -hmm. as to the advantages of a particular opportunity or disadvantages of the opportunity. And I, I really think it's an honest and uh, thoughtful process. And uh, there are certain firms that may make sense. There are others that may, may not make sense in this environment. Mm -hmm. And it's the value of a recruiter and working with a partner recruiter that has high level connections and knowledge about a particular firm that can be presented to each individual candidate can be a valuable tool in, in exploring opportunities and making a potential move. Yeah, I think, again, in a year that's been so uncertain, I think it's become more important than ever for candidates and clients to equip themselves with all of the resources that they possibly can and that's become a more pertinent theme than ever before this year is partnering with a recruiter can really help to advance all parties. So that's very enlightening to hear. 
Um, Robin, you've been extremely generous with your time. This has been an education. Um, to all the viewers who are tuned in right now, you'll be able to access Robin's contact information at the end of this video. So if you found the content of today's conversation to be useful, please don't hesitate to reach out to her. I'm Webb Wright, and on behalf of Lucas Group, thanks so much for joining us today. And thank you, Robin. Thank you for the opportunity. Talk soon.